Imagine walking through a cool, damp forest. The air is thick with the scent of earth and leaves, and every step you take is cushioned by a carpet of moss and fallen branches. Sunlight barely filters through the dense canopy above, creating a world of shadows and mystery beneath the trees. Lift a mossy log and you might spot a salamander, sleek, shiny, and mysterious. Its skin glistens with moisture, and it moves with a quiet grace, almost as if it's a creature from another time. Salamanders are masters of hiding blending perfectly into their damp, leafy world. Now, picture a sun-baked desert or a rocky cliff where the heat shimmers in the air and the ground is cracked and dry. This is a world of extremes, where only the toughest creatures survive. A lizard darts past, quick and scaly, basking in the heat. Its movements are sharp and alert, perfectly adapted to the harsh, sunlit landscape. Lizards thrive where others might struggle, using the warmth to fuel their energy. Salamanders and lizards look similar. Long bodies, four legs, a tail. But that's where the similarities end. At first glance you might mistake one for the other, but their lives and abilities are worlds apart. Salamanders are amphibians, related to frogs and newts, living double lives in water and on land. They begin life as tiny gilled larvae in ponds and streams, then transform to breathe air and explore the forest floor. Lizards are reptiles, kin to snakes and turtles, born and raised entirely on land. From the moment they hatch, they're ready to scurry across sand and stone, never needing to return to water to survive. Their differences are shaped by millions of years of evolution. Over time, salamanders and lizards have adapted to their unique environments, developing special traits that help them thrive where others cannot. We'll uncover their ancient origins, unique abilities, and the clues that set them apart. From the texture of their skin to the way they move, every detail tells a story of survival and adaptation. Can an animal regrow a limb or vanish into its surroundings? These creatures can. Salamanders can regrow lost tails and even legs, while lizards can disappear in plain sight, blending perfectly with rocks and sand. We'll explore their skin, skeletons, and how they raise their young. Salamanders lay jelly-like eggs in water, while lizards bury leathery eggs in warm soil, each with its own strategy for survival. Understanding them reveals the incredible diversity of life on Earth. Every species, no matter how small, plays a part in the web of life that connects us all. Get ready to become a nature detective. With a keen eye and a curious mind, you'll learn to spot the differences and appreciate the wonders of the natural world. We'll dive into the cool, hidden world of salamanders and bask in the open, sunlit spaces with lizards. Each habitat holds secrets waiting to be discovered. By the end, you'll know how to tell them apart, and why both are champions of their own realms. Their differences make them unique, but their resilience unites them as survivors. Let's discover what makes salamanders and lizards two of nature's most fascinating survivors. Their stories are a testament to the power of adaptation, and the endless wonder of our planet. To truly understand the differences between salamanders and lizards, we need to journey far back in time, millions of years into Earth's distant past, when the world was a very different place. Back then, the ancestors of salamanders were among the first vertebrates to make the bold move from water to land. These pioneering amphibians crawled from ancient ponds and swamps, but they always remained closely tied to moisture, never straying far from the water's edge. Even today, salamanders' delicate skin and jelly-like eggs depend on damp, humid environments to survive. Without moisture, they simply cannot thrive. Reptiles, including lizards, appeared much later. They evolved tough, scaly skin and eggs with protective shells. Remarkable adaptations that set them apart from their amphibian relatives. These changes allowed reptiles to break free from the constraints of water, enabling them to explore and thrive in dry sun-baked landscapes, where amphibians could never survive. The amniotic egg was their evolutionary breakthrough, a portable self-contained nursery that let them colonize deserts, forests, and almost every corner of the land. Salamanders, meanwhile, at British Cirques, represent round right represent the first great leap from water to land but they never fully left their watery origins behind they remain creatures of the shadows always seeking out cool damp places lizards on the other hand are the true adventurers of the land perfectly adapted for dry sunlit worlds basking on rocks and thriving where few others can their evolutionary paths split long ago shaping two very different creatures one forever linked to water the other mastering the art of life on dry land. 
One lineage embraced the shadows and moisture, hiding beneath logs and moss, the other conquered the sun and sand, boldly venturing into open, arid spaces. That ancient divide forged millions of years ago still defines salamanders and lizards today, two remarkable survivors, each perfectly suited to their own world. Let's look at how salamanders and lizards are built. Salamanders have smooth, moist, permeable skin, no scales, no claws, and a need for dampness. Their skin absorbs water and oxygen but dries out quickly. Lizards are armored in tough, dry scales made of keratin, protecting them from heat and injury. Their toes end in sharp claws, perfect for climbing and digging. Salamanders have rounded bodies and sprawling legs, moving with a wiggly swimming motion. Their heads are smooth, with big eyes and no external ear openings. Lizards have athletic builds, legs under their bodies, and visible ear openings. Their heads are angular and bony, covered in scales. Every feature of a lizard says land animal. Every feature of a salamander says creature of the damp. Their bodies tell the story of their worlds. Salamanders are true superheroes of the undergrowth, lose a leg or tail. They can regrow it, bones, muscles, nerves, and all. Some even regenerate parts of their brain and heart. Many salamanders have toxic skin, warning predators with bright colors. Don't eat me! They breathe through their skin, absorbing oxygen directly from their moist environment. Some can shoot out sticky tongues to snatch prey in a flash. Regeneration, poison, skin breathing, and a lightning-fast tongue. Salamanders are masters of survival. Lizards have their own set of superpowers. If caught by the tail, many lizards can drop it, distracting predators and making a quick escape. Camouflage is another trick. Chameleons and others can change color to blend in or communicate. Geckos are gravity-defying climbers, sticking to walls and ceilings with millions of tiny setae on their feet. Some lizards, like the horned lizard, have spiny armor and can even squirt blood from their eyes to deter attackers. These abilities help lizards survive in harsh, open environments. From tail dropping to color changing, lizards are escape artists and masters of disguise. Their tricks are as varied as the landscapes they inhabit. Adaptation is their greatest weapon. Salamanders and lizards live in worlds shaped by their unique needs and ancient instincts. Their habitats and diets are not just about survival, they reveal the fascinating ways these creatures have adapted over millions of years. Salamanders stick to cool, moist places, woodlands, under logs and near streams, where the air is damp and the ground is soft. They're most active at night or during rain, when the world is quiet and the moisture protects their delicate skin. They can't survive in dry heat. Their world is one of shadows, dampness, and hidden corners. Salamanders rely on these moist environments to breathe and avoid drying out, making them secretive and elusive. Lizards on the other hand, thrive in the sun. They bask on warm rocks, soaking up heat, and can be found in deserts, forests, mountains, and even city gardens. Their habitats are as varied as their colors and shapes. Their tough, scaly skin lets them survive almost anywhere, from the hottest deserts to lush rainforests. This armor protects them from the elements and helps them retain precious moisture. Salamanders are patient, stealthy hunters. They eat worms, slugs, insects, and sometimes even small fish or tadpoles. Their slow movements and sticky tongues make them expert ambush predators. By feeding on these creatures, salamanders help control pest populations and keep their forest ecosystems in balance. Lizards have incredibly diverse diets. Most eat insects, but some hunt birds, rodents, or other reptiles. A few, like iguanas, are herbivores, munching on leaves, flowers, and fruit. Their varied diets help them thrive in so many places. This adaptability in both food and habitat has made lizards one of the most successful reptile groups on Earth, able to live almost anywhere. Both salamanders and lizards play vital roles in their environments, shaping the balance of life around them. Where they live and what they eat are clues to their ancient origins, tracing back to a time when the world was very different. Their homes and diets reflect their evolutionary journeys, showing us how these remarkable animals have survived and thrived through the ages. Salamanders and lizards reproduce in very different ways. Salamanders lay soft, jelly-like eggs in water or damp places. Their young hatch as aquatic larvae with gills, living in water before transforming into land dwellers. This double life is the hallmark of amphibians. Lizards lay tough, 
shelled eggs on land, often buried in sand or soil. Baby lizards hatch as miniature adults, no larval stage, no need for water. Some lizards even give birth to live young. Salamander's life cycle is tied to water. Lizards is all about independence on land. Their reproductive strategies are shaped by their evolutionary paths. From jelly eggs to armored shells, their young are born for different worlds. These differences define their place in nature. Salamanders and lizards are often confused but now you know the key differences. Smooth, moist skin, salamander, dry, scaly skin, lizard, it's the simplest way to tell them apart. Not all small, slithery creatures are dangerous, most salamanders and lizards are harmless and vital to their ecosystems. Salamanders aren't slimy, just wet. Most lizards are more scared of you than you are of them. Some legless salamanders and lizards get mistaken for snakes, but skin texture and ear openings are the giveaways. Understanding these differences helps us appreciate their unique roles. Salamanders are living links to the past. Lizards are masters of adaptation. By learning to see their differences, we discover the beauty and complexity of the natural world. Salamanders and lizards, two worlds, one planet, each with its own story. Salamanders are quiet survivors of the shadows, masters of regeneration and water. Lizards are sun-loving adventurers, armored and adaptable, thriving in every landscape. Both are tiny dragons, perfectly designed for their realms. Their lives remind us to respect and protect even the smallest creatures. Next time you're outdoors, look closely. You might spot one of these remarkable animals. Every animal has a story. Every encounter is a chance to learn and wonder. The more we discover, the more we can protect our amazing planet and all its inhabitants. If you found this information as fascinating and eye-opening as I do, then don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button for even more captivating science content.